Hey everybody, this is Rhett. Welcome to Statistics. In this video, I want to discuss some techniques for organizing, summarizing, and presenting qualitative data. So let's get started. Recall that a variable is a characteristic of an element, which can assume different values for different elements. Variables can be classified as qualitative or quantitative. In this video, we'll focus on qualitative variables. A qualitative variable is a variable that categorizes the elements and is sometimes referred to as a categorical variable. Some examples of categorical variables are college major, eye color, and gender. In my Krispy Kreme data set, the qualitative variables are Krispy Kreme, Remember that that was a yes or no category, gender, fitness or exercise level, and course section. Let's discuss some options for organizing categorical data. A great place to start is with a frequency table. A frequency table for a qualitative variable is a listing of all the values that the variable can take together with the frequencies or counts for each value. Constructing a frequency table for a categorical variable is actually pretty easy, especially if you take a minute to sort the data. Excel makes sorting data a snap. Once you have the data organized, you'll want to make a list of all the variable values. Then, count the occurrences. In other words, how many elements are in each category. By the way, count is synonymous with frequency. And that's pretty much it. I do advise you to take a minute to check your work by making sure that your count total matches your sample size. If not, you'll want to redo the counts. Check to see if you missed an occurrence or counted an element twice. It's better to catch an error like that now before you go any further. Here's an example of a frequency table and a bar graph that were constructed in Excel. To see how I created this table and graph, Watch the video, Constructing a Frequency Table and Bar Graph. Relative frequency is the frequency divided by the sample size. A relative frequency can be reported as a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. Here's an example of a relative frequency table and a pie chart constructed in Excel. If you want to see how I did this, there's another video, Constructing a Relative Frequency Table and Pie Chart. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Until next time, stay real and be rational.